How's it going guys? Buff here. Today we're going to be checking out Duelists of Eden. Uh, they have a playtest right now because of the indie fighting game weekend over on Steam. It's extremely well polished already, but for those who don't know, Duelists of Eden is a deck building fighting game. Uh, it's also the sequel of Children of Eden. But if you've played something along the lines of uh, Mega Man Battle Network, that's exactly the concept they're going for here. Except this time you're going against an actual other person. Now, the roster already seems really solid. They have everyone fleshed out with specific skills to their own. They also have a level system and references to other people like Maple from Rivers of Either, Nira from, I forgot her series, and uh, Dreadworm. What's great about each of these specific characters is they have all their own individual moves. Yeah, they can all use what would essentially be chips from Battle Network to create decks that do different things like Thunder, Kinetic Wave, Boomerang, Claw Traps. But if you picked Maple, Maple's the only one that has a Vine Whip and a Seed Toss. And that's just their basics, basic attacks. So no one else will have that. And they also have the ability to customize any deck the way you want. So if I want to edit this, I could also add more slots into perks. So like this perks where like when you freeze an enemy, you get more energy back or mana of that sort. Now, I'm tired of describing it. I think it's just going to be better if you guys see what I'm talking about. So if I go online and try to find a match with Nira, I'm not good at Battle Network. I'll tell you right now. So this might go terribly, terribly wrong for me. But... I'll say it's extremely fast paced and we'll just wait until we get a match. Oh, and here we go. I'm in a match against someone named uh, T Hana. They're playing Dreadworm. Like I said, I'm not great at battle network like games, deck building, moving around grids, but <clears throat> as you can see, we have our decks on each side and now everything's going to be in real time. I'm going to be awful. So like I said, each character has their own basic attack and then they have their own passive, like I don't know, secondary. Then we have all of our deck skills, which all use that mana at the bottom where the diamond is. So I'm a six out of six. Everything will use it. There's a block button and there's a dodge button. Everything uses resources and I'm probably going to die if we pay attention to my health. They're playing very defensive in the corner. And like I said, I'm just not good at battle network. It's very, very fast paced. It's also a lot to take in at first. I can't deny that. But all in all, it is fun. There's a lot of combinations already in terms of the passives you can give yourself and the decks. <clears throat> and there's also a roguelike element where I'm already level eight with this character. The more levels I get, the more chips I'll unlock to use in a deck. And it allows you to make a deck up to 12, but obviously the more chips you put in, the less consistent you're gonna have a game plan. I will also say during the tutorial, they actively teach you how to combo with certain chips. So there is time to do what you want. I'm using a character that wants to freeze and I'm just not sticking to that game plan. <laughs> I'm actively losing, but I'm healing too, which is not bad. And I just got, she teleported and then smacked him in the head. So they won. You can also send a GG in rematch. This game does have rollback netcode, which is obviously a big step, especially for an indie developer. So I know Mega Man Battle Network's the big thing right now. I just gotta say, I'm always trying to get people into playing a fighting game. And if this is one way you're willing to try, please give it a shot. I'm gonna finish this match, see what we can do here. And then I'll uh, get my kind of first impressions and my final thoughts. I would love to try to focus a little bit because I'm so I'm I'm tired of losing at this game, man. I can't deny it anymore. She this this person, Dreadworm, her her active thing, her her secondary ability is a laser that pushes her back. I have like these two ice pillars that potentially freeze if you get in the way. And then I have like this weird ice knight thing I got. But I don't think I have many moves that hit the background, so I might struggle here just because I made probably a crappy deck because I was trying to actively use passives that gave me the advantage if I were to freeze them but I'm not doing it I'm also not dodging I'm not <laughs> not doing much man they, they love staying in the background I gotta pay more attention to what they have 
All right, I think I'm, I think I'm understanding. I don't know if I'm healing or if she's healing for me. I think she might try to do a laser. Oh, I just took 11 damage. But yeah, that's pretty much the concept. This isn't going to be more of a gameplay. This is just to kind of show you what's going on. And I'll, I'll show you the rest. They already have a bunch implemented in terms of, uh, where is it? Shop. They already have a bunch of colors, which uses this premium currency, which I've been unlocking while playing. And then different outfits, which change, obviously, their outfits. I don't think I really need to describe that. There's a replay system. These seem to be from someone else because I have no idea what that is. They do have a tutorial system. There is a combo system, an advanced system, more about the actual stats. But the thing I was trying to show you earlier was if we go to the decks and you want to make a new deck, you have all these already, right? But then here's that roguelike element. Unlock at 75. Unlock at level 75. So there is a ton of replayability. And I guess it sleeves to the deck. I don't know who these people are half the time. I didn't play uh, Children of Eden. Maybe I should check it out. But please, give it a shot. It's free right now, I believe, until the 17th. So by the time this video goes up, maybe you'll have like two days. But give the devs some shout outs. I would say my first impressions are pretty solid. Again, not the biggest battle network deck building grid based fighting guy out there, but it's fast. It's very fast paced. And I, I can I can get behind that. So all in all, I'd give this like an eight out of ten. And it's free. Can you can you be mad at free? With that said, appreciate you guys watching. Go out there, give it a shot. If not, please check out the other indie fighting games on Steam. And with that said, peace out. Stay safe. Bye.